Uncle Billy, are you doing okay, buds? Do you want me to yeah. give you a push? <gasps> okay. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Yeah, I, uh, holy yeah. shit. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Didn't mean it. Okay. Yeah, well, you know what? Being depressed is the last thing on his mind now. What's up guys, welcome back to Barn Finders. That game where the government is hot on the trail of a big alien mystery and you are stuck right in the middle of it. Trying to sell both sides, used love dolls, and creepy taxidermy. <laughs> Listen, we can't all be heroes. I'm guessing if you want to follow your dreams while you're awake, then you have to have nightmares while you sleep. Every single night I have some kind of moonshine hallucination of Uncle Billy sleeping with a pig. Poor, poor pig. Yeah, yeah, Uncle Billy, I know, she's a real beauty. I found her in a cult den, you know, when you were busy balls deep in Kermit's wife, or, or screaming at the sky on top of a roof, I can't even remember. Point is, we have to sell it. I need money, I've only got 40 bucks, and I'm pretty sure we have another job to get to today. Will you stop doing that? I don't care what kind of redneck super saiyan you think you are, it's freaking me out. <laughs> It never ends with him. I think we might get a little bit of money for the clock that we had totally legally acquired, right? Because we bought the house last time, we didn't steal stuff, so we should be able to pack and send that off. Okay, so now we have 400 and some odd dollars and probably another email waiting for us. Maybe, yeah, okay, Cooter Otis. <laughs> I love the name Cooter. Hi, barn finders. I've got a job for you. I need that ground radar that my brother stole from me. It should be at his old ranch. Mind you get it for me? I'm too fat and lazy to drive there. Ciao, polka nut soon? I may have used the wrong accent for this guy considering he said ciao, but at least he's honest, okay? He's a fat, lazy cooter. It's starting to sound a whole lot like my aunt. Isn't that right, Uncle Billy? Let's see where we're going this time. Otis's ranch. Oh good, so we don't actually have to buy this place. We're just gonna rob it. Dude even said in the email that like it belongs to his brother. There might still be people here for all I know. It's not really abandoned. Are we just escalating? I feel like we're escalating. Uncle Billy, whatever did happen to Aunt Gladys? You don't talk about her all that much. Please tell me that you didn't leave her for the pig. But I didn't peg you as the type to have a non-kosher affair. We're gonna have to put the family firm animal drama on pause for a second because we're about to commit a crime, right? Like, do you see what I mean about escalation? Like, robbing stuff from an abandoned hillbilly love den or a dilapidated shack in the middle of the woods is one thing, but this is just straight up Middle of the day, people standing around, robbery. I think mentioning Aunt Gladys may have struck a nerve with Uncle Billy. He doesn't look like he's doing too well. Like, it looks like Tony Stark died around here. What exactly is going on? We've got you, Samantha, who's wearing robbery gloves. Maybe you'd like to come inside with me? We could find you a pair of shoulders, I guess. <laughs> oh, this dad, wild thug, always digging in the ground. Digging like a wild dog until his dirt nap, okay? When we rolled up here, my first thought was I should hit her in the head with a shovel so that we can get this done, but I think someone may have beat me to it. Uncle Billy, are you doing okay, buds? Do you want me to give you a push? <gasps> okay. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I, uh, holy shit. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Didn't mean it. Okay, yeah, well, you know what? Being depressed is the last thing on his mind now. How did that happen? He's having fun. I think I'm just gonna leave him be, and you know what? If he manages to find the aliens on his own, then all the better. There might actually be some kind of warrant out for them. What's this guy doing out here? I don't even know which address we're supposed to rob. Is it just, like, all of them? What are you doing out here, buds? Oh, oh, oh hey, Sebastian. You guys are... Oh, oh, okay. No, Uncle Billy! Uncle Billy, I found them! I found them! They found me! I don't think I was probed. I'm pretty sure they're gone. Did not see that coming. Whatever you're smoking, I'll take no, some of no, it now, no, please. No, no, no. Way ya uh, see, brother. Nice a breeze of ya. Why does no one in this game speak English? You sound like Jar Jar Binks. 
<laughs> or maybe Jar Jar Binks sounds like you. I'm not really sure how that works. I'm just gonna start indiscriminately robbing. How about that? We'll just see what's up. <laughs> if any place is locked or has someone inside. Oh, this is locked. Okay, well right off the bat, no dice. We're just gonna have to find ourselves a key. If we can go in through the top. Can't imagine they would lock the bottom and keep the top unlocked. No, okay, well, let's try this house then. Why are you here? Maybe the key is under this here carpet. That's actually a really smart idea, Uncle Billy. Holy crap. <laughs> Thank you. At least someone around here is being useful. So now, we can get in here. What kind of crazy love cult den was this, I wonder? Kind of looks just like a, a rundown house. Why is everything a rundown house? So is no one currently living here? Because if that's the case, then I guess it's not as bad as I had expected. This looks real expensive. We'll be taking you. Thank you very much. I mean, in all reality, we'll be taking everything, even half-empty packs of cigarettes and garbage bags and sell for something. Funny enough, I wouldn't be surprised if we could actually sell this. Like, we've sold some real weird stuff in the past. <laughs> Problem is, there is no amount of money you could pay me to touch it. Washing machine, on the other hand, yeah, this looks like it has less poop on it. I'm not gonna say no poop, but definitely less. We haven't found a whole lot down here. So, you know, the washing machine, a couple of chairs and stuff like that, but nothing really to write home about. Oh. Okay, and we have the medium lockpick, so we should be able to get into this. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Easy. What do we have in the chest? Oh, a fertility mask, huh? Let's not tell Uncle Billy about that. The last thing we need is him thinking that he can get... <laughs> Miss Piggy pregnant. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take it, I suppose. Is that literally a dick nose? I'm pretty sure that was a dick nose. If we actually end up selling anything of value from this place, remind me to invest in the max level lockpick because I'd be really upset if we went to another location and I couldn't get into a place. <laughs> no secrets can remain hidden from me. Again, I was expecting something creepy, except all I got was a cobweb teepee. <laughs> Strange. Oh, I think that was a bloody bed. Now it's just a couple of pieces of rope. <laughs> That's recycling. Speaking of recycling, oh, we got keys. Why can't I? This looks like the kind of thing that I would want to sell. That's a, a fine piece of finished furniture. Why would it leave that? <laughs> Out of your mind? Oh, okay, great. We're gonna take the ball. Definitely need that ball. We don't want to bother with the armoire. Come on, or the this is a va it's a vanity. Yeah, we, we definitely don't want the the vanity. Uh, no, never mind. Actually, mirror doesn't seem to work. <laughs> it's probably defective. Okay, well we've got a couple of keys. I oh, can I can I get out here? Oh, I can get out here. Should I be out here? <laughs> can I take this? Hold on, if we, there we go, we might find some garbage on the roof to sell. Not really what I was hoping for, but golden toilet paper I will take. <laughs> That's the good stuff. <laughs> I don't want to stay up here too long. Last thing I need is get probed. Wait a minute, isn't that the asshole who tried to steal stuff from my store last episode? Like, I'd recognize that salt and pepper cap and those greedy hands anywhere, and apparently I don't take fall damage. Hello, sir. I don't suppose you'd like to get hit with an axe, actually. Maybe I should leave you be? We could totally pin this on him. We just leave him here? I mean, clearly, I'm gonna sell all the garbage first, but... I don't know if I want to bludgeon you to death. I'm gonna have to think about it. Well, I came to one conclusion, but unfortunately, the game came to another. Can you please stop sniffing my nipples? What is wrong with you? I am scared to explore that island. What, that island? A lot of people went missing there. Yeah, I get the feeling it wasn't the random rock in the middle of the lake. It might have been the UFO that just popped out from underneath it. Where have you been? I swear to God, if you take one more whiff of my nips, I, I can't hit you with my axe. This game is literally unplayable. What is that? Oh, it's 
a circus base. Okay, I, I was actually wondering about this. So we keep finding frogs that look like they're part of a circus. I can probably assemble them all together to make some kind of weird diorama. That would make sense. I think we had uh, Dat Boy on a unicycle and might have been a couple of others. Can I? No. Okay, so we can rob that other place, but we might want to try to swim across to the island. Can I swim? Or am I Jesus? Oh! I can't swim. Okay. I, I, I blacked out. I would assume Uncle Billy brought me back here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Uncle Billy. Uh, maybe the water isn't the only thing I should stay away from. It looks like I'm about to interrupt some kind of jazzercise class. <laughs> I mean, He's wearing a mask and black, so maybe he's a thief? Oh, no, it's it's blocked. I want to get through. Okay, so that's not actually locked. It's locked down here. <laughs> Come on, man. My thighs could use a stretching too. Let me in. Wait, where's, where's the... Oh, the door's over here. Here we go. There we go. Oh, no. What? Oh, I was going to say there are no stairs. There's a ladder. Good, okay. <laughs> We've got some more DVDs. Again with the French wrench. Yeah, you can come with me. Now I got a couple copies. I can sell what? Ooh, what is that? I don't. It doesn't have a title, but I don't care. It's got titties. <laughs> We've got uh, uh was that a wall skin? You avoid the water. Good, good. Get, get out of the way, box. I can hear you up there. You're, you're very loud on your feet. You do call them feet, don't you? Come on, let's, let's get up there. Just, just rush them. Rush them. Surprise them. Ah, no, no, no! Ah, come on. They're so quick. At least we figured out what was blocking the door. Should be able to get through here now. Good, okay. I'm seeing something over here. You look sad. Do not worry, just drink moonshine. <laughs> now I'm happy and probably blind. You heard the poster, I'm not one to say no. I just really hope we don't see Uncle Billy pork in it again. Interesting. Not the kind of ship I would expect them to be in. Huh. Were they chasing something? Oh, they were chasing something in the lake. It was like a, a whale? Why would there be a whale in a lake? Unless it's like the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> I mean, that sounds stupid, but in all reality, you've seen stupider. Let's be <laughs> completely serious here. I, I guess I should be able to... Open these d d doors and then head over? Can I? Yeah. What are we gonna find on the island? Weird. Huh. Oh, you came too! <laughs> Thanks, Uncle Billy! Just hang out here, I guess. I'm, I'm gonna go explore. Clearly no one's been here in a while, so we should find some real primo old stuff. Or get probed, who knows? This seems like a mistake. Uncle Billy, if I get shot for trespassing on some kind of hobbit den, then please avenge me. <laughs> the last thing I want is for them to get the last laugh. On what we got in here, something good. Scraps of wood and... Is that it? Just garbage? Oh. No, we have a... Uh... What is that, a barrel? I've been... Oh, it's a piece of a totem pole. Okay. We like raw meat. Good for you? Uh... They don't mean my raw meat, do they? <laughs> Uncle Billy, I want out! The hobbits are hungry! I know I said that it's likely no one has been here in a very long time, but the problem is it's a lake. You just swim up or boat up from anywhere. I, I really did not need to cut my way in here. It just kind of felt like it. Okay, good. I, I thought this was a leg or a corpse or something like that. It's just wood. What do we have? More garbage. Lots of garbage. Place for teens to bang. Can I take this with me? I can use it. I, I don't really want to use it. <laughs> Uncle Billy isn't quite my type. Lots of garbage. A whole lot of money in garbage. Appreciating that, but kind of need something for the store, now we're talking. That is interesting. More garbage, more garbage, more garbage. Okay, so, oh, we can use the lockpick to open it. I thought it was gonna have something to do with a totem head. Uh, where do we, oh, there we go. 
got it! <laughs> Master lockpick. What do you got for me? Oh, it's another one. Why? Bad totem. We art the cave guardians. What? Does it say we are the cave guardians or we art the cave guardians? I don't know. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, behold, thou art sweet. Slow down, findeth our core hearts more mortal. Okay. So, I got a couple pieces. I need the one with wings. And then, I'm guessing that's gonna get us in there. That's a suspicious looking rock if I've ever seen one. <gasps> All right, ancient secrets. This is what I'm talking about. For a second there, I thought this hobbit hole was empty, but it turns out it's actually full of Bongo music? Am I losing my mind? I, I don't know where it could be coming from. There's nothing in here. I, I know that seems real weird, but at the same time, I've seen aliens and UFOs and uh, Uncle Billy, the strangest taxidermy talking totem poles, like Phantom Bongos is just another day at the park. You have got to be kidding me. The ghost bongo music was coming from one of these things. It was above me the entire time. Okay, we will take you now. Our power is beyond. Yeah, okay, I'm ready to go even further beyond. If I could become even more of a Super Saiyan than Uncle Billy, then all the better. So we'll pop you down, we'll pop you down. Please don't kill me. You we, we good? We thanketh thee, Barn Finder. You know me? May the busty ones, wait, what? Slow down, okay? I'm, I'm not that good at speaking totem. Or English for that matter. Ooh. Okay, this is, this is something. Flashlight does almost nothing. <laughs> There's gotta be something cool in here, right? Must be. Something worth selling, something worth keeping. Honestly, I'm fine with keeping stuff. It doesn't need to all be about money. I, I'd love to decorate. <gasps> oh my God, it's so freaking dark. Oh, ooh. Neat. Ooh. Okay. Don't know how I feel about that. Don't know how I feel about that at all. Huh. I clearly want that thing. I just don't know where to step. These things are freaking everywhere. Okay, so we've got a crescent moon. We've got a bow tie. We've got a square and a cross and a triangle. I don't know what that means. Are those the safe ones? So, triangle? Oh, okay. Cross? Huh. Almost over jumping them every time. Square? Square? Good. And that, that'll get us here. Um, I don't know. Rubik locator? I don't, oh, that's the thing below it. No, I don't care about that stupid thing. I want the star. What's with the star? What is this thing? Maybe it's just indicating indicating that that's the item that I need. I thought it was some kind of alien ancient MacGuffin, but no. Clearly there's more to see yet. So we can also go to Bowtie and uh, Crescent Moon. I can't believe I'm remembering all of these. <laughs> and then we should be ooh, in the clear, in the clear. Oh no! No, you gotta be kidding me! I, my toes got wet. Second time's a charm. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> Nailed it. What are you? You look mechanical. Oh, 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 it's an elevator. It's an ancient elevator. Okay then. Did, are you kidding me? This was, it must have opened a door as well. Don't tell me this was right here the entire time. <laughs> well, I found it. This here bugs are eating my soul. Uh, okay, yeah, listen, this is better the bugs than the pig eating you right now. <gasps> I think that's everything. I don't know how that dude lost the metal detector in some kind of ancient totem cave, but I'm, I'm pretty well ready to go, Uncle Billy. I gotta say, it feels really good to stick with it and walk away with everything. Look, we've got all of the golden toilet paper so far. What that means, I don't really know, but it seems important.
He really thinks he's gonna leave me to unpack the entire truck by myself. I don't think so. The magic button also doesn't think so. Thank you very much, sir. Our inventory is absolutely ridiculous now. We have so much stuff. We've got bike parts and furniture that needs fixing and dolls that need a good scrubbing. More furniture and taxidermy and... Like, I really need to get around to fixing stuff and cleaning stuff and building stuff, but I, I just don't want to. I enjoy searching for the stuff so much more. Holy cr- Can you not? Like, why are you gonna sway into my vision like that? It, it, it's dark out here and I've been dealing with some real weird stuff lately. Maybe, I got 495 bucks. How about this? We should be able to sell that piece of crap that we just got. Id Wars Bull event. No, I don't care. Don't care. Not right now. We're gonna pack and send that. $580. That should be right away. So we should be able to get ourselves a cleaning station and maybe even a repair station. If I... Yeah, that's the only one that's available. It's the only one that I want. There you go. Okay, so now we can hose stuff down. <laughs> Good. And I think we're gonna have enough. $717 has to be enough for a repair station while we're at it, right? I'm not asking for, ooh, a lot. Do I want a repair station or an assembly station? Where, where did it go? Where'd the car go? It, Mother Clucker? We were gone for one afternoon. What happened to it? This, this, this has to be a joke. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna wake up tomorrow morning. And it's gonna be right there, right? I swear to God, this is seven hundred dollars. This is eight hundred dollars. Okay, well the choice is made for me. We'll get that. I can now piece together stuff. Great. I'm, I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. I'm putting away my gun. If I don't wake up tomorrow and see a beautiful car waiting in my garage, I'm gonna flip. I didn't think you could rob you while you're gone. And again, I am cursed with these nightmares. Ah, uh, it's a typical Wednesday. I got more mail. Great. Wonder if it's another sleep paralysis demon looking to be friends. Uncle Billy, what the hell happened? Why does this keep happening? There's a $1,300 car that was probably worth like 20 grand and it just disappeared for no freaking reason. I clearly didn't sell it. I don't have any money. I was kind of hoping that the car somehow squirreled its way into that cardboard box that Billy tossed into the sorter so that it would be in here somewhere, but I'm not seeing it. I am seeing a bunch of parts that look like they go together, right? We've got a keyboard, we've got a mouse, and then we've got a monitor. I don't suppose that will be enough for a computer. I'm missing the actual computer part of things, but maybe we got an assembly station. I don't want to build a motorcycle, no. No! What part of no do you not understand? There we go. Flamethrower, uh, eventually. Ray gun, not quite. Some kind of camera, no. Here we go, and that's exactly what I'm missing. Don't have the computer part of the computer. Well, and why does nothing go my way? Wait, 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 maybe this is it? I, I thought this was like a VCR slash microwave combo, but it it's got a processor, it's got uh, mammoth graphics, uh, Satan hard drive, yeah, okay, let's see if you can fit in. Oh, you're way whiter in reality than in the picture. Uncle Billy, you need to fix your camera settings. And while you're at it, where the hell did the car go? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we got ourselves an entire computer. And if I press this button, assembled 500 bucks. Holy crap, is that me? I'm, I'm pretty sure that's me. I'm employee of the month. And the thing is, that's not just this store. That That's like the entire chain of stores. So everyone playing this game, they've got me as one of the employees of the month. I think it's Cycles. I've seen a couple today, but that's definitely me. Sweet. I, I want to make at least a couple of dollars before the end of the episode because I'm worried that next episode, we're probably going to have another auction. It seems that we rob a place, then we have an auction, then we rob a place. We just switch back and forth between legitimate and illegal. And if I have to go to an auction with $17, it's gonna be a long video. So I'm gonna open the store and try to sell the computer and the motorcycle and some random furniture that's worth a couple hundred bucks. I can go with at least a couple of thousand will be good. So we will open. This would be a whole lot easier if my car didn't friggin' disappear. I'm telling you guys right now, I'm not getting over that.
is just so stupid. Hello there, totally not an alien. Could you maybe haggle a little bit and give me more than I was asking? Because that's how stores and haggling works around here. And here being, you know, this dimension, this universe. Thank you very much. Extra hundred bucks on top, $436 for a chair. I love those people so much. They're, they're just the best. $500 for the computer. Could you maybe make that $550? Uh, change my mind. I would prefer it if you made it... Oh, uh, $675. Great! <laughs> yeah, you could just head bob to that. Holy crap. Okay, well, I mean, this has already been hugely profitable. $1,000 on two items. I've, I've got like four more pages of items. If we can sell this... 600 bucks, we might be able to get 800 for it. I'll be pretty happy. Someone's gotta poof in here eventually and buy it. Oh, I don't think so. Yeah, that's right. Get those nuts out of here. Oh, you're back! <laughs> He's really just the greatest. This is why I don't rat him out. Oh, oh come on. You got 26? Okay, that's not too bad. Now, you're not gonna go and use this to invade the world, are ya? It's probably out of date anyway. I don't need to feel too guilty about it. Plus, he's given me $26 for the fate of humanity. Sold. <laughs> Just be sure to probe gently. You know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Barn Finders, guys. I knew that these locations were going to get weirder and weirder, and I thought it was a little strange that we were going to rob a place in the middle of the day with people around. Did not expect to go to an island that was haunted by a totem to unlock some kind of ancient MacGuffin secrets. I gotta say, I can't wait to see where this is going because we're like less than halfway through the game. So if you guys want to see more, as always, be sure to leave a like in this video, let me know, and I'll try to find that missing car because if not, my day is just totally ruined. I'm not even joking, I'm still pissed. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.